Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We tonight are going to make some pockets for your junk journal. They're going to end up looking like this. And we're going to make it out of, ta-da, book pages. I know that Patricia Viramonte has done this. And I know that Diane Ayers, I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right, A-Y-E-R-S, I believe. They have done this and probably a lot more people. But those are the two that gave me inspiration for this project. And uh, I love this. Um, it really makes a really pretty um, pocket. Now this side will be uh, attached in your um, junk journal. So you won't see it. But you could leave it where you just glue around here, here, and here. Have this open. And this could be a pocket as well. You open it, and this is a pocket. Okay. So, let's get started. This will probably be the longest video I've ever done. But we shall see. Okay. As far as book pages, I took mine from... Um, a particular book I'm using right now is a Reader's Digest. Um, so, what I did... I took two pages, and to make it thicker, I glued two pages together. Now, once you glue them together, you may have to take your paper trimmer and just line up and just cut right down. Right there is a little bit of this left that's jagged, if y'all can see that. But that's okay. Um, but this is two. It gives it uh, thicker. Um, more substantial. Okay, so once you glue the two and you let it dry, then you want to take a half a sheet. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. You want to take a single sheet. Okay, take a single sheet and fold it down. And I I trimmed this one to get the jagged edges off before I did this. It is totally your preference, however you want to do that. I just took a single sheet, all right, and then you just take uh, your glue of choice, and I have been using Aileen's Tacky Glue, and I just glue right here. I glue right there in the crease, and then I glued along the sides. Come on, you. I need to start leaving my bottles upside down. Okay. Like there, there, and there. Then I just put a little bit in the middle. Um, whatever you want to do. Whatever your technique is, you know. But I find this works for me. You can go along and uh, take your finger and just kind of uh, spread it out some. Or I have found just close it up. Now it's going to ooze out the side if you put way too much. But if it does, just take a paper towel and, and get that off. So what I do is kind of like the um, assembly line method. I just do a whole bunch of these and then by tomorrow or the next day, you know, they're dry. I do a whole bunch of these. I have a whole stack and I'll show you. Here's my stack of, of double pages right there. So they're ready to go. All right, so once you get this one and it's dried and you're ready to go with it, if you want your words up in the direction that you can read, um, make sure you do that. Otherwise, you know, it's gonna be upside down. So whatever your preference is, I like to put, also, I like to put the part that's bent, bent over right there on top, and not the two pages that have come together, because then your, the strength of your paper might not be as good. Then when you get that part, you're going to, I'm just going to pretend here, you're going to glue this side, the bottom, and this side, okay? Leave the top open because that's going to be your pocket. Okay, 
So once you get to this point, all right, and it's gonna need to dry. I wouldn't, I don't recommend uh, trying to work with the paper while it's still wet with glue. It's just kind of flimsy, but after it dries, it's really got a nice substantial thickness about it. Um, it's really nice, actually. Um, but then you come, you have this part, okay? Now what I did with that, and I don't have one to demonstrate, I don't think, let me see. I could just pretend with this right here. Okay, let's do this. You put, um, if you have a corner rounder, and all corner rounders are not the same, so however yours works, um, put that in, and then you're going to round the corners, if that's the look you want. You could leave it like this, but I really like the um, the rounded look. Okay. All right, so we're at this point here. Okay, so what I use, and you could use gesso, probably acrylic paint, but my favorite, I love chalk paint. I love the feel of it. I love the way um, it paints onto your projects. It dries quickly. Uh, but it's your personal preference, so whatever kind of paint you want, if you want to paint. So let's demonstrate with um, with this one. And what I did with this one, I took a hole punch, uh, not a hole punch, really, but a circle punch. And I went about, I don't know what's that, about a half an inch maybe, into um, the top. And I just cut out this little dip. Because... You might want that when you're uh, putting papers in. It may make it easier. But again, that is personal preference, whatever you want to do, okay? So we're just gonna pretend with this one. All right, I've got some paint brushes here. And my chalk paint. need to go ahead and take that off of there um, and have you some water I've got a coffee cup with water over there it's just uh, real easy to, to clean up but the chalk paint um, I just spread it on and I like to do it thinly because I personally love to see the words coming through but you don't necessarily want to sit and read a page out of the book right but you do like that look I love that look I'm in love with the look. I'm in love with that look. Okay, I'm being silly. Okay, so there you go. You could do it even thinner if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do. Because it's your project and you're the boss and you get to make it how you want to make it. I'm just in that kind of mood tonight. <laughs> okay, so there's your look. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to put this one over to the side. And I've got one that's... um. kind of at the next step. Okay, I've rounded my corners. All right, got my little pocket there. It's glued down. I've got this part painted and this part, the flap and the pocket part. Okay, let's move these little tools over here. Let me put this paint up before I end up wearing it and just ruining my whole video. Okay, of course that would be a good laugh. All righty, so now, at this point, you can do anything you want to do. Pardon me, I hit that. I hit my stand. Okay, I'm trying to get my lace. All right, you could put lace down. Any kind of lace. You could put paper flowers down. Um, buttons. You know, all the good embellishments that we just love. Beads, buttons. My personal favorite, um, if I can think of it, huh? uh, pearls. Yes, that flat back pearls. I love those things. Any kind of bling or whatever. Okay, but we're going to do a napkin because it's kind of a decoupage tutorial too. All right, now this particular one has three layers. Okay, so you want to grab that. And sometimes it's a little difficult. Uh, I have seen people use a piece of scotch tape and it takes that one off and then they stick it again and it takes this one off. I don't know where my scotch tape is at the moment, so I'm doing it 
the, the hard old-fashioned way. Okay, so you want to take the first two layers off. Now some napkins, napkins only have um, two, so you want to take that bottom layer off. Regardless, you want the pretty top layer, okay? All right, so you decide which picture you want to put, which part of the picture that you want to put on your um, project that you're using. Uh, and you can take a wet, I think that would be pretty. I don't know, let's do a red one. Hold on, let me, let me get one that's red. Oh yeah, that one right there. That one's pretty. So, you know, you kind of guess at it and say, okay, I need, oh, I need this section right here. Okay. All right. So I take a wet paintbrush and I just kind of go around it just with the water. A wet paintbrush. Okay. Let me wet it again. And this way you don't have the straight edges on the napkin, which um, kind of gives it that really pretty uh, I don't know the word, but anyway, it gives it a really pretty look. It's, it doesn't have the straight lines. You want the jagged edges because when you decoupage, you don't want the jagged I mean, excuse me, you don't want the straight edges because it looks too uh, manufactured. Is that a good way to put it? You want it to look natural and um, just really, I don't know the word. Yay, y'all help me, will you? Because I can't think of my word. Okay, so there we go. I like that right there. Okay, all right, same paintbrush. Take some of the water out, but a little water won't hurt at all because we're going to use this uh, Mod Podge, and I think this is just watered down glue. So a little bit of water on your paintbrush is not going to hurt. So just squeeze some. And that one is about to be gone too. All right, just squeeze some out, paint it all around. Don't paint your pocket closed, though. Don't glue your pocket together. Okay, I'm kind of holding the, the napkin where I wanted it with my left hand. Okay, so I'm going to set it down real easy. All right, I'm going to Mod Podge from the center out. This is on my index card tutorial also. Go center out real easy. You don't want to tear your napkin. It's just easy. It's so easy to tear it. Don't tear your napkin. Okay, paint it from the center out. Center out. Okay, now the other side, we have not painted the bottom yet with uh, Mod Podge. So we're going to pick it up. Got to be ready. Don't, don't let it stick to um, the the part that you just painted with Mod Podge because then you'll never get it up. All right, there's the Mod Podge. Probably too much, but, uh, you know, be all right. All right, paint it out. Get up as close to it as possible, but, you know, this napkin will tear. So be careful. I love doing this. I just think it's so relaxing. Okay. Take your paintbrush while you're holding this piece, okay, and start from the center going out, center out, okay, here we go, that looks good, at this point I can go ahead and pick it up, and you'll get used to, if you do it, you know, quite a few times, you'll get used to um, how gentle you have to be, you can get a little bit heavy handed once you learn what you're doing. Um, but practice, I'll, you just have to practice. That's, that's it. But I love it. I just think it's so relaxing to my podge. Okay. I don't see any big globs. 
which is good. And I don't see any air bubbles. So really and truly, this kind of project, it doesn't matter if you have an air bubble. It just kind of adds to the character of it all. All right, so it won't take too long for that to dry, but let that dry. Now pick out a piece for the top, and you might want to let that dry. But if you want to tempt it, go for it. I think I will. Let me find another little piece here for the top. Mm. I think I'll do a red one for that one too. And you don't need much for the top flap. There's not much there. Now, there's those straight edges. I want to get rid of the straight edges. Oh, I know the word. It blends in. If you have, um, if you have the jagged edges and not the straight edge, it just really blends into your project and makes it look really natural. It almost looks like not manufactured is not the word I'm looking for. It just looks very professional. How's that? Professional. Okay, there's a clump there. Let's take that off of there. I want that. If y'all hear somebody yelling and talking in the background, it's my teenage son who's in there playing video games. And he's not completely nutty because, you know, he is talking to other people. We can't hear it, but, you know, I guess they're there. Okay, some more Mod Podge. All right. Let's spread that out really nicely. Okay. All right. Got some on my finger. I don't want to... Um, make it stick to my thumb. Just gently put it down. And center out. Well, y'all, Hurricane Florence has moved on out. Tropical storm, Florence, whatever, it's gone. But the aftermath, yeah, she left a great big mess. Um, a lot of people had damage to their homes. Personal belongings, you know, due to flooding. Trees hit homes. So please pray for those people, y'all. And uh, the rivers are cresting. I thought they were going to crest today, but um, the latest news I've heard is tonight or tomorrow, the Cape Fear River is going to crest, and it's supposed to be a record high. They have evacuated people that live within a certain distance or low-lying areas close to the river. They have evacuated them because there's really nothing to play with. It is it is the highest I have ever seen it personally. So please pray for those people, y'all. Okay, so we've got this decoupaged on the top. We've got it decoupaged on the bottom. Now it needs to dry, okay? Um, now, I'm going to pretend. Well, let's go back to this one. I'm going to go to this one. Um, because uh, you can ink. Where's my little sponge thing? Hold on a second. Let me find it. It's supposed to be right here. Y'all hold on a second. I'm trying to find my ink. Alright. Found it and my dauber. Alrighty. What I love to do, okay, is definitely ink around the edges and I'm using apologize I didn't tell y'all distress ink vintage photo I have others but this is my all-time favorite I love to distress around heavily around the um, 
outside of your project because it just really gives definition. I love the vintage look, um, the shabby chic look, but that vintage old paper look, I love it. And you'd never think, unless you knew how to do this stuff right here, that you can take this book pages and literally turn it into this. And it looks old and it feels old. Like once you put that decoupage stuff on there, Mod Podge, it feels like parchment paper. It's just great. I love it. Okay. So just stress around the edges. And also here, now you can do it before you put them on. It doesn't really matter. Um, but if you find it easier, ink around the top of the pocket before or after but it gives it really a good definition there of that pocket um, there's that on the side ink around it okay now don't forget the outside need to ink right here on the top really heavy where it bends just gives it a really um, vintage old natural feel I probably said that backwards but anyway I think y'all get what I'm saying I believe okay then what I like to do is just kind of do this or this, either one. Circles are good too. You get that real grungy look. And it really, just look at this compared to this. It really brings out uh, the writing and that old world feel about it. Now you can leave it white here, or the color. I use, let me see what color did I, I use plaster. Chalk paint, and I got this at Walmart, it's by Waverly. Plaster, I do love the ivory color too, cause it's uh, kind of that vintagey color as well. But I like to kind of go over it, not the whole thing, but a couple of spots, like that, okay? And you can bend this back a little bit if you want to. And do right there. Along that top. So when you open it, then it has that um, that old look right there in, in the crease. Okay. Now let's put a piece of... Um, let me close my ink so it doesn't dry up. And again, that's Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Uh, Tim Holtz. All right, let's get another piece of napkin. Let's use this one. Okay. If I can get some more out of this bottle, I hope so, because... Mm -hmm. Excuse me, y'all. I don't want to have to get up from here and go look for my Mod Podge. The Mod Podge bottle, this particular one I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, sometimes they have it. And this one is the matte. They do have the gloss, but this one I'm using right now is the matte finish. Personal preference, whatever y'all want to use, it really doesn't matter. And I do have both. It's just the one that I grabbed. Okay. Now, you, do you see... Can you see what it's doing right here? The Mod Podge onto that ink right there. It is just giving it a beautiful look. Kind of smudges it or something. I don't know. Just makes it look even more vintage to me. Okay, gonna put it down kind of in the middle. Wait, I want to go up higher. Hold on. Okay. Now, put 
from the inside center out. I know y'all are probably tired of hearing me say that. That's going to lay down on me. But now look, it's coming through. You see, the vintage look is coming through the napkin. I love it, love it, love it. Got my puppies in here with me tonight. My sweet little crickets down here under the table in her bed that I made out of a box. <laughs> she don't care. And I gave her a sheet. She's just as happy as she can be. Okay. Now, after you let this dry, some of you may have been wondering, um, you do want to put a second coat because you don't want your uh, napkin popping up. So after it dries, don't put the second coat on while it's still wet. Let it dry, okay? Um, I don't know. It may peel up in spots if you tried to mess with it while it's still wet. That piece, I just want it to go to the back if it will. You just kind of have to play with it. And if it, if it ends up not looking right, we'll just take that little piece off. No big deal. You see how the words, you can see the words coming through. See right there? I don't know if y'all can see that on camera. The words are trying to come through. The napkin, the ink is coming through. The white paint is coming through. And it, it just literally looks like, to me, like a... Um, all of it was totally planned that way, but you've made it look that way. Again, I can't think of my words, so if y'all can think of the words I'm trying to find, please feel free to leave comments. And anybody who's watching who hasn't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to try to do more videos per week. And uh, crafting tutorials, that is. Please subscribe, hit the little bell. Ring my bell, ring my bell. Yeah, I just had to say that. Now, I'm showing my age now, right? Telling on myself. Okay, so look at there. Isn't that pretty? Love it. I love it. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. But see how the Mod Podge has just made the, um, the ink, the Distress ink, smudge, and it looks so authentic to me. I love it. Here's something else you could do. We're going to put that aside while it's drying. Okay, I think that looks great. Just like that. But this is what you can also do. You can just play and have fun with it. Take my chalk paint. Do a little finger painting, y'all. Okay. Alright, just say you want to smudge some... Oops, sorry. Smudge some over here. You could just paint, see? Paint right over it. Make it as thin as you want. Look at that. Now it almost has like a Tuscan feel to it, doesn't it? Ring my bell, ring my bell. One of these days I'm going to get brave and go live one night and have a live crafting video. Okay, so there we've added more paint. Okay. Chalk paint dries really quickly. I've got paint all over me. That's okay. There's some right there. It's never messed up. So you just smooth it right on in. Take your um your ink. Go back over it. Grunge it up again. It's just fun, fun, fun. Just have fun with it. Okay, so you get it to that point. You do the top part. You want to let it dry, of course. Put your second coat on there. 
In fact, I could put a second coat on here if I got enough of this. Let's just do the top part and see if I got another. Now right, let's do this part where I put the paint. Let's see if I can get any more out of there. Yay, a little bit more. Now remember, if you've had this in water, it may take your paint off or thin it out, which I have had it in water. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Just smooth it back out. You can smooth it around the edges too. It kind of seals it. I love the feel that the uh, Mod Podge gives to the paper. Really makes it feel like parchment paper to me. Okay. I don't have a whole lot in that um, bottle, so I won't do any more, but y'all kind of get the idea. Um, let's see if I did anything else. Let's see. Mm. Now you can see this too. See the one coat? It's not as glossy versus two coats because this one's had two coats. See how glossy that can be? That is matte finish, but it does give it a gloss. So you definitely want to put another coat because that um, that nap can be, it may very well peel. Okay. I can't think of anything else, but you could do whatever you want to do. Um, decorate it from here. You can put buttons, lace, cheesecloth, regular cloth. Um, here's some that looks Christmassy. I don't know what you call that kind of ribbon, but it's not wire, but it almost feels like a wire. Um, burlap pieces, buttons. Any kind of bling or whatever you want to do to it. Or you could just leave it like this. And this is so nice to put um, in a junk journal. And then you have your pocket. Like here's one of the little index cards that I did. It has paper. And another little pocket. Pocket in a pocket. See, that fits right in there. Put pictures in it. Any kind of little memoirs that you want to put in it. Anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please subscribe, like, and ring that bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.